have the national anthem, and then we'll be back, and we'll give you the starting lineup. So stay tuned. We're going to take a two-minute break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU-TV. We all have a vision of that perfect smile, but when it comes to our smile, it's not something we can draw or wait to miraculously appear. We need an orthodontist, dental specialists with two to three years of specialized education beyond dental school. Your child might be the next Picasso, so trust that brilliant smile to the right hands. Seeing an orthodontist no later than age seven can help achieve a healthy, beautiful smile. For more information, visit braces.org. Southwest Minnesota State will get you where you want to go. We're a university of 3,600 students with over 45 majors to choose from. Small student to faculty ratios let your professors get to know you. And with a grad placement rate over 95%, your degree will help you get a job in your chosen field. Becoming involved is easy. And with over $150 million in improvements the last 10 years, our facilities are state of the art. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. Welcome back to the RA facility here at the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University. So anyway, let's go through the starting lineups for both teams. So for the University of Jamestown Jimmies out of Jolette, Illinois, 6'1 guard, junior, number zero, Braquan Tucker. And from Tyler, Minnesota, six foot, six foot guard, senior, number four, Taylor Newton. And out of Roseville, Minnesota, six foot guard, sophomore, number five, Logan Brown. And from Cando, North Dakota, six foot guard, sophomore, number 13, Jake Hagler. And from Gary, Indiana, six foot seven, forward, senior, number 33, Cedric Smith. The Jimmies are coached by Alan Mangini, and we got Danny Nevo and Brandon Cameron, Cameron as the assistant coaches. And let's send it over to Paul Vold with the SMSU starting lineup. The starting lineup here for the Mustangs tonight starts out with number four, Drew Osmondson, guard, six foot one, uh, sophomore out of Owatonna, Minnesota. Number five, Mitch Wegg, forward, sophomore out of Worthington, Minnesota. Joey Bartlett, number 15, is going to be the other forward, six foot six, sophomore out of St. Peter. Number 21, Turner Moen, the guard, is going to be starting as well. Freshman out of Lake Mills, Wisconsin. And number 30, Cole Martin, guard, senior out of Omaha, Nebraska. 
Brad Bigler is the head coach. His assistant coaches are Tramel Barnes, Nick Smith, and Jeff Hansen. And tonight's officials for the game tonight, Mike Petrick from Hastings, Minnesota, Tom Golan from Bo Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, and Aaron Entringer from Brookings, South Dakota. So we're just getting set for tip-off here at the RA facility. The Mustangs starting off with their home opener here for the Mustang fans. A pretty good turnout so far today, Paul. We got a lot of fans coming out to support the Mustangs in their first home opener. Yeah, it's always definitely a good good night when you can get basketball back here in the RA facility, especially this young Mustang team looking to start the season off right here at home. And looking at the series history between these two teams, SMSU and Jamestown meet for the sixth time on Friday, SMSU leading 3-2 in a series that started during the 1968 and 1990, no, 1969 season, and SMSU has won the only meeting in Marshall, earning an 82-63 victory during the 1969-1970 season. So the Mustangs haven't played the Jimmies in a while, so we'll see what happens here at tip-off. Looks like Starting forward for the Mustang, the two will take the tip off will probably be Mitch Wegg coming up here. And we'll get started with some SMSU basketball. First broadcast of the game and both play by play and color commentary here tonight. And here comes the tip. The tip will go to the Mustangs. Tipped a couple of times there. Now Drew Osmondson brings it up the court. Nice passing from the Mustangs early on. Wegg trying to get it down low here. Looks like a 2-3 zone from the Jimmies. And Drew Osmondson oh. was wide open, but he missed that easy layup there. Got to get those easy points early in this one as Osmondson missed a wide open chance right there. The guy to look out for, like I said today, is Braquan Tucker, averaging 19 points a game for the Jimmies. Good defense from the Mustangs so far. Cedric Smith loses his handle on the ball, looking to pass it around here. Six seconds on the shot clock. Ooh. Put up a three, nice shot by three. Taylor Newton. Very nice shot right there, contested as Bartlett was on there in tight coverage right there and was able to sneak it over the tall forward. Rosmanson kicks it out to Moen. Moen for three, and that is good. So the Mustangs answer back with a three of their own. They, that, so far, so good from three, Paulie. Yeah, very good right there, one of one, a very deep three, almost a Jimmy Fredette shot right there. Looks like a double dribble on the Jimmies, Logan Brown. Sophomore out of Roseville, Minnesota. Mustangs will get the ball here. Three, three now, 18 minutes and 29 counting. Good passing from the Mustangs early on. Bartlett hits wide open Mitch Wegg and he puts it in for two points. Good match up there, big on big. Bartlett to Wegg right there. Got to keep your eye up on that matchup right there all night. Nice passing from the Jimmy so far. And Tucker with a nice shot. Can't Got let him get wide open like that. I mean, the man wears number zero for a reason. He's leading the team in points. Drew Osmondson with a nice Drew drive to the basket. Osmondson. Strong drive right there from Osmondson. Sets the tone right there. Drew Osmondson had a breakout season last season. He's a true freshman, had some pretty good playing time, and we see his driving ability here in this game. And Tucker misses that one. That's going to be a good matchup. Tucker on oh, uh, almost an alley-oop to Joey Bartlett. Couldn't bring it down. Looks like it was a little out of his reach. A nice move by Cole Martin. Can't put it in. But Wegg is fouled on the play. Wegg almost had the put back there for the Mustangs. Getting back to my points, going to be a good matchup right there. Tucker and Osmondson right there, a couple of small, quick guys. Coming into the game, Carter Kirk, freshman in for Mitch Wegg, and Travis Miners coming in as well. 
Had a pretty good season last season for the Mustangs. And MJ Delmore coming in for Drew Osmondson as well. Carter Kirk is wide open and with the slam. Carter Kirk, true freshman out of Mountain Lake, Minnesota. Had a pretty good games and exhibition so far for the Mustangs. Playing really well so far here in a travel. That's back-to-back -back possessions. Now the Jimmies have turned over the ball. That's not going to help Southwest them. Minnesota State University. The Mustangs field goal We're private at school 15. atmosphere. Seven percent, four of seven from the field, one of one from three-point range. Jamestown's only two of three, sixty-six percent, not too bad, pretty efficient. But the but they have committed two turno two turnovers already in this game. Looks like Logan Brown there of Jamestown came off the court a little little slow there. Might have uh, pulled something or uh, got a cramp early in this game. Nice ball movement from the Mustangs. Joey Bartlett trying to take it down low, trying to get it out. Minders for three, and that is pretty close. Nice shot by Travis Minders. And Taylor Newton bringing it up. Tucker, get it out. Nice pass to Havron. Havron puts it in for two. Mustangs still lead nine to seven in this game. 16 and 16 minutes and 13 seconds and counting left in this first half. Delmar over to Travis Minders. Minders sets it up here. And it'll be a double dribble on Travis Hinders. Couldn't get a handle on that one there, Paul. See both teams here really working the pressure at the top of the key, getting a lot of pressure, causing turnovers. And Sean Condon and Mitch Wegg back into the game for the Mustangs. Good to see Sean Condon back out. Suffered an injury in the summer. Now back out for the Mustangs. Nice uh, play there by Vlad Steokovicu with a nice lay in there. Mustangs had good defense. Delmore fakes the shot, drives towards the middle, looking to kick it out to Minders. Minders is going to set it up. And Delmore for three, and that's off. Condon's wide open, top of the key here. Nice rebound by Mitch Wegg. Wegg and Kirk, two guys to look out for for the Mustangs, two big guys that have been doing pretty well so far. Kirk with a nice move, a nice Walker. put in off the glass. Very nice shot right there. Carter Kirk is a big man out there on the floor, and he's definitely a good mismatch. The Mustangs going man to man here. Rebound by Sean Condon. Going to bring it up for the Mustangs. It'll be a foul. Foul on Vlad Stiokovicu. It'll be a quick timeout on the floor, and we're going to take a 30-second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Southwest Minnesota State University where private school atmosphere meets public school cost. Programs like colonology, agronomy, and environmental science set the standard nationwide, where grad placement rates are over 97%. And the school invests in you, putting over $80 million back into the university. Southwest Minnesota State University, where you belong. Welcome back to the RA facility here and the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University, where the SMSU Mustangs lead the University of Jamestown Jimmies 11-2-9. So taking a look at, at some of the stats here, Paul, for the Mustangs, not, not off to a bad start. Five of 10 from field goal range, one of three from three-point range. Couple of nice rebounds, couple assists, and Mustangs are off to a pretty good start so far. Yeah, they're definitely, uh, the Mustangs are controlling the defe defensive rebounds right now, and they're not allowing Jamestown to get any second chance points off those boards. Looking at Jamestown's stats as well, 
Four of six from the field, 66%. Three from three point range, they're one of one. So, so far, so good for both teams, actually. And they come back out on the court. Five, starting five right there will be Sean Condon, and MJ Delmore, Travis Minders, Mitch Wegg, and Carter Kirk. Delmore will take the pass out. Minders is wide open for three, and he tries to, but Mitch Wegg with a nice rebound to put it back in. Nice Worthington connecting right there. And here comes the Jimmies. Mustangs playing some tenacious defense so far in this game. A lot of contested shots. Looks like a moving screen on number four, Taylor Newton. That's Newton's first foul of the game. Mustangs haven't committed a foul yet. Correction, that is Newton's second foul of the game. Has to come out of the game now. Osmondson back in for the Mustangs. Jory Bartlett as well. A lot of moving around from the Mustangs, nice passing. Minders drives, tries to hit it to Wegg. Looks like there will be a charge on Minders there. His first foul of the game, first team foul for, for the Mustangs. And Turner Mullen back in for the Mustangs. Again, the Mustangs still at 50% from field goal range. Nice ball movement from the Jimmies. A shot up there, rebounded by Cole Martin. Shot taken by Sam Johnson. Martin brings it up, takes the shot. Down to Wegg. Nice ball movement from the Mustangs. Finds Moen out for three, and he'll knock it down. His second three of the game. He's got six points. A lot of good movement right there. I believe every Mustang touched the ball in that possession, really moving it around the top of the key as well. That's what really Coach Bigler stresses, moving the ball around, finding the open guy. Here come the Jimmies. Looks, they look to be reeling a little bit so far in this game. Mustangs have been keeping the pressure on them. An offensive rebound for the Jimmies. Looks to be a foul on Osmondson. Looks like Tucker's trying to uh, four, figure out a play. Looks like there's a lot of communication problems for the Jimmies right now between Tucker and Stiovicu. Mustangs putting pressure on. Stubbed by Steele Vichu, and he'll knock down the three. His first shot of the game goes for three points. Mustangs still lead, 16-12. Osmondson driving, dumps it off to Moen. There'll be another charge on the Mustangs. Looks like Osmondson tried to dump it off there, but uh, he'll get a charge and a foul. Yeah, I was driving through the lane there, trying to kick it out to Minders. Actually, Moen there. And uh, just got a little too excited. Two fouls on Osmondson. Ball moving around. around. Ooh, and Tucker will nail the three. And the Jimmy's coming back here. Moen trying to get it out. Nice ball movement so far, and Mitch Wegg tries to put it up, and he'll miss. And Wegg has got four points for the Mustangs in this game. Moen leads the Mustangs with six points with two three-pointers. Nice ball movement from the Jimmies. I'll try another three, and they'll miss. Osmondson bringing it up, driving through. Ball tipped. Moen still gets it. Throws it out to Cole Martin, he fakes. 
And he'll be fouled on the ground. Looks to be on, on Tucker there, his first foul of the game. Coming in for the Mustangs, Carter Kirk. Has two points so far in this game. Inbounding is Martin. Comes Osmondson on the drive, trying to dump it out to Turner Mullen. Mullen's wide open for three. And he'll try to nail another one, but looks to be an over the back foul on Joey Bartlett. I'll make it three straight possession, three straight empty possessions for the Mustangs right there. Now the Mustangs a little reeling right now. They're still hitting 46% from the field, two of six from three point range. But Jimmy is six of 11 from field goal range. Three of five from three point range. And here comes Hagen bringing up ball. Nice pass right there by the Jimmies. That's good. Blocked by Carter Kirk. Cole Martin trying to make something here. And he'll not have a nice spin move and put it in for two. That's a circus move right there from Cole Martin to just threw up, threw up a prayer right there and it banked off the glass for the two points. Looks like the pass was tipped there. Joey Bartlett gonna bring it up. Gonna drive down, but he'll lose the ball right there. A little indecision there by uh, Joey Bartlett. Stolen by Jay Kagler. He'll hit it out to Tucker. Try to hit the three. And Smith will bring down the rebound. Stioko Vichu will hit it off to Hagler there. Can't make that shot. Martin's gonna drive to the basket. Nice pass to Turner Mullen and he'll put it up for two. Mullen's got eight points for the Mustangs. No look pass there from Martin to Moen, right under the hoop, nobody there. Easy two points for the Mustangs. Cole Martin having two good possessions coming up here for the Mustangs. Kind of been a back and forth game so far. 9.57 left in this first half. Two, you gotta move! 10 seconds left in the shot clock and counting. Kerr will take it. He'll try to hit a step back three and he'll miss on the front of the rim there. Osmondson will bring it up. Looked like he had an open shot there. He'll dump it off to Cole Martin. He'll take the three and he'll miss from three point range. And Tucker, Tucker will get the rebound. Looks like he was trying to drive on a couple of Mustangs there. And they'll call timeout to Jimmy. Smart move by Tucker. We're going to take a 30 second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Hey, Barrett! Look, Timmy's in trouble again. I told you to stay out of here! Come on, loser! Someone should do something. If you see abuse or neglect, learn what you can do at BeHumane.org. A marathon hero. I want to help people. I want to make a difference. I want to get things done. Could I be a hero? She had to apply. I should give this a try. There she met people who shared her passion. People who wanted to make change. People who joined a marathon. They cleaned beaches. They helped wildlife. Together they served. Together they made a difference. Together they were heroes. In a marathon? You can be a hero too. Join America. And welcome back. Jimmy's will start off with the ball. Logan Brown will dump it off to Smith, and that will be out of bounds on Smith. Another turnover on the floor. for the Jimmy's, but we'll keep it right here. But anyway, Paul, as we look at some of the stats here for the Mustangs, looking up here. So the Mustangs, points in the paint, 14 to two so far in this game. So looking at guys like Carter Kirk and Mitch Wagg, they've been doing pretty well down low. Yeah, and especially them shooting from the field as well. They're eight, nine of 18 from the field, 50% right there. And also definitely working the defensive boards as well, getting a lot of defensive boards as they have seven defensive rebounds, not allowing not allowing Jamestown to get second chance opportunities. I'm looking at some of the stats here for the Mustangs. So far, I mean, like you said, 50%, but looks like the three point 
uh, field goal percentage uh, get a little better, but they're getting good looks. Yeah, they're definitely getting a lot of looks, leaving a lot of guys wide open. Turner, Turner Moan's getting a fair amount of looks, especially, and even Cole Martin as well. And look, and again, Cole Martin had a pretty good a dry, a couple of drives down there. Nice passing and nice uh, two points put up there for him. But you look at the Jimmies as well, six of 15, 40% from the field. They're in this game still, but so far so good for the Mustangs. And the Mustangs, points off turnovers, they've got five. And then compared to the Jimmies, they've got two. Second chance points, the Mustangs lead in that department, six to three. The Mustangs' largest lead was seven points. And that was back 13 minutes and 28 seconds in the first half. And here comes MJ Delmore to bring up the ball here for the Mustangs. Moan will take the pass. Sean Condon blew that one right there. He had a nice pass right there, and he'll bring it up for a nice two. Logan Brown got by the Mustang defense there. Goes in, nice pass. MJ Delmore to Mitch Wagg for the easy two. Wegg's got six points on the game now. Nice ball moving from the Jimmies. That'll be missed by the Jimmies. Here comes MJ Delmore on the break, and it looks like Ooh. there'll be a foul there. It looks like Brown was trying to get the ball from him, but he got a little bit of MJ Delmore there. And Logan Brown, his first personal foul. Five team fouls for the Jimmy so far in this game. Moen will inbound the ball here. Hit it out to Delmore. Delmore throws it out to Wegg. Nice ball moving from the Mustangs and Sean Condon tries to put up a three and he'll miss. Jake Hagler brings it up for the Jimmies. Tucker looking to throw it down to Haveron. Haveron working on Wegg. And he'll be stuffed by Mitch Wegg. Here comes Moen and Delmore here. And Condon trying to pass it to Wegg there, but it'll be off the Jimmies, off Hagler. Jimmy's now th shooting 38 cent from the floor tonight. Haven't been efficient so far here, Paul. Yeah, they're definitely not getting a lot of good looks on the floor. Mostly of them have been rushed, not allowing them to get set up. This ball moving from the Mustangs. Wag will try to put up a hook shot, but he'll miss. Rebound by the Jimmy's. And Hagler. Pick from Havron. Looks like the Jimmies are moving the ball a little bit more. And Hagler's going to shoot the three, and he'll make it. And the Jimmies are inching back into this game, but the Mustangs still have a lead, 22 to 20. Jacob Hagler there, his second three-point shot. Delmore misses from three again. Two of nine so far for the Mustangs from three-point range. They started off good. And Hagler's going to try another, another three again, but he'll miss that one. Osmondson brings it up for the Mustangs. Goes by a couple of defenders, but that will be tipped, but Wegg will bring it down, and he'll throw it and bank it off the glass. Mitch Wegg with eight points here in this first half. Ladies, are you talking? So far, so good for Mitch Wegg. Been re really impressive so far in this game. And Jimmy's passing the ball around here. Hagler dumps it off to Brown, or Tucker, excuse me. Looks like Tucker will get a travel. Their sixth turnover of the game. And here comes Delmore and Drew Osmondson. Joy Bartlett, Cole Martin, and Carter Kirk into the game for the Mustangs. It's not like the platoon swap with Kentucky here, but I'll, I'll tell you what, the Mustangs 
A lot of guys getting some action here early. Oh, definitely a lot of guys getting a lot of good looks on this team. Drew in for three, and that will get in there somehow. The first three in a while for the Mustangs. That'll help them out, give them a 27 to 20 lead. Brown driving, and he won't make that one. Looking for the foul there. Nice rebound by Kirk. Osmondson will pass it off to Cole Martin. Osmondson on the drive. Looks like another 2-3 zone from the Jimmies. Dim dumps it off to Kirk. And Kirk with a nice bank in. Carter Kirk and Mitch Wagg right now are offensive juggernauts. And playing pretty well defensively as well so far, Paul. Yeah, they're definitely, them being the two biggest guys on the floor definitely helps their, their cause as well, definitely creating a lot of havoc offensively and defensively. Nice shot blocked by Kirk. Just like I had mentioned. And he says get out of here too, Taylor Newton. And he let him know of that for sure. <laughs> so here comes, well, it will be a foul actually on Kirk. Definitely a questionable call, but maybe he got a little bit of a hand there. So Newton on for free throws. First free throws of the night for both teams. That'll be up and good. Travis Miners in for MJ Delmore now. Looking at some of the stats here. We got Drosman's in five points, Mitch Wegg, eight points, and a nice rebound there by Kirk. We we'll move back here to the game. Cole Martin bringing it up. Nice drive by Martin. Dumps it out to Bartlett, and Bartlett can't bring it down. It looks like there will be a foul on Carter Kirk. It looks like. There was a push on him, but I didn't really see anything there. But anyway, media timeout here, so we're going to take a 30-second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. are moments when you think about what defines you. Mine was the moment when the doctor said autism. As a parent, you're expected to have all the answers. But when your child has autism, there are very few answers to be had. You tell me what I'm doing is what I'm supposed to be doing, because I don't know. That's why thousands across the country have come together online to give researchers the insight that only families can provide. Join the Ian Project. We all have questions. Together, we'll find the answers. Back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University, where the SMSU Mustangs lead the University of Jamestown Jimmies 29 to 21. And as we look at some of the stats here, Paul, so far Mustangs been doing pretty well from field goal range, 13 of 26. A couple of nice assists from Cole Martin, Turner Mullen, as well as Drew Osmussen so far in this game. Mustangs coming with press. Ball is tipped up. Given to Wegg, back to Osmondson. To Cole Martin, he'll put it up for a nice two. The Mustangs have a 10 point lead here, their largest lead so far in this game. It'll be a foul on Joey Bartlett there on the press. This will be a reach on Joey Bartlett. Seventh team foul for the Mustangs. The Mustangs there going with the press coverage in those last two possessions. Definitely ramping up the, the pressure on Jamestown. Try and build that lead for the Mustangs. Here comes Hagler for free throws, and he'll miss it. Rebound by Travis Minders. 4.30 left in the first half. Martin tries, but he'll throw that away. That'll be a turnover on the Mustangs. Stolen by number 15, Matt Wingo, but Tucker has an open lane. 
Dump it off to Wingo again. Wingo for three and that misses. Minders with the rebound. Minders will bring it up for the Mustangs. And Travis trying to get by Brown there and Brown steals it. And Osmondson almost had the block there. Nice layup by Logan Brown. 31-23 Mustang lead. Brown's got four points for the Jimmies. It'll be a reach on Jamestown there. Another foul for the Jimmies. Doesn't look to be in the bonus yet. Travis Miners will take the inbound pass here. Put it out to Mitch Wegg, back to Minders. Minders will take the screen, try to put it up, and he'll miss. Here comes Hagler. Dumping it off to Sam Johnson, over to Wingo. Excuse me, Vlad Stiokovic. He'll miss, and here comes Moen up, bringing it up for the Mustangs. He's got eight points in this game. Mullen will put it up for a two, and he's in double digits. Ten points for Turner Mullen. Nice drive right there by Turner Mullen to get past the defense there. Had a little contested shot right there. Was able to drop it in for two. Got to like what you've seen from the freshmen so far in this game. And here comes Tucker over to Stielkovicu. He'll take the three, and he'll airball it. Rebound by Martin. Martin will bring it up the court. He's coming in with a full head of steam, but he'll dump it off to Travis Minders, open for three, and he'll knock it down. Travis Minders knocking down the three. The Mustangs improved the 33% from three-point range. Nice pass by Cole Martin. Had plenty of options right there. Could have gone to Minders or MJ Delmore for three points there. Minders knocks it down. Nice steal by Mitch Wegg. Martin will bring it up again here. Cole knocks it over to Miners again. He's looking for the three. Dumps it to Mullen. Nice ball moving from the Mustangs. The Mustangs will let the clock run here, setting up the play. Martin will try to throw up a prayer there. Looks like he was well defended. 36-23, Mustangs lead. Here comes Hagler driving up court. Johnson on with the ball. And a nice uh, layup by there by Jake Hagler. He's got five points in this game so far. Minders dumps it off to Delmore. Delmore trying to get by. A couple of Jimmys there, and dump it off the leg. Looks to be another charge there on the Mustangs. Jimmy's taking advantage of those charges, really helping them out so far in this game. One minute and nine seconds left in this first half. Mustangs shooting 51% from, from the field. Jamestown only 38%. Both teams a 33% from three-point range. Tucker dumps it out to Stiokovicu. Lay it up and in for the Jimmies. One minute remaining in, One the, minute half. Remaining in the half and counting. Here comes Delmore bringing it up for the Mustangs. Delmore tr tries to get it off and it'll be a jump ball. And it'll be the Jimmy's ball now. Couple of bad possessions here by the Mustangs here. Creating, having turnovers is the thing. That's definitely not what you want to do if you want to extend this lead here for the Mustangs and going into the half. Nine turnovers so far for the Mustangs. Looking to clean that up so far. Delmore lost his footing there. 34 seconds, 23 and counting left on the shot clock. Tucker's trying to 
Makes some moves there, step back three, and he'll knock Ooh. it down. 36-30, Mustangs lead. Shot clock is off. 16 seconds left, they're trying to take some momentum into half here. Hopefully the Mustangs can knock down a shot. Tucker's got eight points for the Jimmies. The moment's open for three, and he'll knock it down. He's got 13 points so far. Turner Moen, two seconds left in the game. Tucker will throw it up, and it doesn't look like he'll get the shot off. No shot, still in his hand. The Mustangs take a 39-30 lead. We're going to take a quick 18, we're going to take 18 minutes here, and then we'll be two minutes back with the halftime report. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. Mustangs will be taking on the or taking on the University of Jamestown Jimmies. The Mustangs have the lead, 39-30. So let's take a look at some of the stats here for Jamestown. Jamestown's shooting 42.9% from the field. From three-point range, 5 of 13, 38%. Free throws, 1 of 3, 33%. Total of 13 rebounds, 5 steals so far. Eight turnovers in this game so far. So let's send it over to Paul Vold for the SMSU stats. Currently, the Southwest Minnesota State University Mustang shooting 53% from the field, 17 of 32, 5 of 13 from three-point land, and getting a total of 20 rebounds, most of them coming off the defense. I'm looking at some of the stats here individually for the Mustangs. Drew Osmondson has got a total of five points here in this first half, two of three from the field. Blake, four of six from the field, he's got eight points. And looking at Turner Mullen, five of six from the field. He's got 13 points for the Mustangs. A couple of big threes there in that first half. And then you look at Cole Martin, who's got four points for the Mustangs. Got a couple of assists as well along with that. And individually, the Mustangs are playing pretty well so far. Cole Martin's having a good game, but the talk of the night has got to be Turner Mullen so far. Five of six from the field, three of four from three-point range. I mean. The young guy's getting it done, Paul. Yeah, you definitely like what you see out of the young freshman here for the Mustangs. Definitely getting a lot of playing time, and it shows. I mean, he is taking full advantage of this situation and making a run with it, leading the team right now, 13 points. Again, you got to like what you see from Turner Mullen so far in this game, but the Mustangs as well as a team have played pretty well, looking at, like we said, Mitch Wagon as well as Carter Kirk so far in this game, definitely eight, six points total for him. And Moen will inbound the ball here for the Mustangs as we get the second half rolling here. Moen will pass it off to Osmondson. Osmondson back to Moen. Moen looking for Bartlett. Bartlett back to Osmondson. Osmondson dumps it off to Cole Martin. Martin looking for a three there. Looking for Osmondson. He was looking to hit the three there. Down low to Bartlett. Bartlett gets a handle on it and he'll lay it up in uh, for the Mustangs. The Mustangs, 26 points in the paint so far in this game. Paul. They're doing all their dirty work down low and it's the way Coach Bigler likes it. Almost stolen by Drew Osmondson, but it will be the Jimmy's ball there. Mustangs leading the Jimmies 41-30. This ball movement from the Jimmy so far. Trying to dump it off to Tucker. Got to look out for it here in this game. Tucker from the leading scorer. And he'll hit a three. 11 points for him so far in this game. Jimmy's still getting back in this game. And not leave Tucker open like that as he just hit another three right there as he's got 11 points for the Jimmies in this game. Cole Martin will take a three of his own, but he'll miss that one. Rebound by Taylor Newton. Newton to Tucker. 
Tucker gets another fast break point right there. 41-35, the Jimmy's starting off pretty good so far. Martin will throw it out to Bartlett. Bartlett spins around Newton. Osmondson will set it up. Dump it off to Wegg. Wegg to Mullen. Wegg with the fadeaway shot, and that will roll out. Nice shot by Mitchell Wegg, just couldn't get in. Hagler will try to throw it in traffic, but Mullen will take that. Jumping off to Bartlett. Try and it'll be a blocking foul and an and one for Joey Bartlett. Looks like they're trying to take the charge there, Paul, but finally the Mustangs catch a break. Yeah, Joey Bartlett right there using his size to advantage to, as he got up in the air, just kind of rolled the ball right off his finger in for the two points. There's Joey Bartlett to the line. First free throws for the Mustangs in this game. Bartlett will see. Joey Bartlett has five points on the game tonight. Tucker will go and lay it in again. 15 points so far for the Jimmies. Really putting the offense on his back early in the second half. Nice passing from the Mustangs, and Mitch Lloyd will throw it down. Beautiful passing right there. Cole Martin underneath the hoop there. Just kind of threw it out because he knew he didn't have a play for the up and under and just gave it right to Mitch Wagon. He slams it home. Shot off for the Jimmies, and Tucker will try and get the rebound, but stolen by Drew Osmondson. Got one guy to beat, and he'll lay it up and in. Drew Osmondson with a nice steal, putting it in for an easy two. You're the Mustangs here, you got to be a little careful coming back, transition. Getting a lot of fast break points are the Jimmies as the Mustangs uh, struggle a little bit to get back on defense. Taylor Newton dumps it off. And a nice play right there for the Jimmies. Wow. Havron just kind of threw it up there, and he'll get the and one. One heck of a play there. You got to give credit to the Jimmies on that one. I mean, he can't be mad there <laughs> if you're Mitch Wegg right there. I mean, that's just a that's just a great play right there. I'll tell you what, Havron is surprised he made that shot too. Still feeling a little bit. Is Havron is kind of wincing off the pain of his knee right there. Havron. On uh, for the added one, and he'll get it. 48-40, the Mustangs still lead. Kind of a back and forth second half here for both teams. Minders for a three, and he'll sink that, his second three of the game. Travis Minders. Another three point play for the Mustangs. They improved to 40% from three point range. Tucker thought he was fouled on that play. That's stolen by Cole Martin. He'll throw it down. Cole Martin with the nice dunk there. Nice steal. Nice throw down from Cole Martin. You see it all the time during warm-ups. Cole Martin not afraid to throw it down there. Looks like I owe him 20 bucks for that dunk right there. Looks like another foul on Travis Minders. His second of the game. Second team to foul of the half so far. We just hear SMSU Volleyball has beaten Concordia St. Paul. Congratulations to the ladies. An absolute huge upset right there as Concordia St. Paul, seven time national champions, defeated Tucker in the region. Bounces it off Bartlett, and it'll be off Bartlett. Looks like Tucker's getting a little frustrated so far. The Mustangs have been putting pressure on him. Brown will inbound the ball for the Jimmies. Here comes Hagler. Hagler trying to set it up here for the Jimmies. Eight, seven. Sites left in the shot clock. Tucker tries to put it up, but he'll miss. Havron tried to bounce it off Wegg, but he was far off his mark there. Condon going in on the inbound here. 
Mustangs lead 53-40, 15-34 left in this second half. Mustangs 57% from the field. Nice ball movement so far from the Mustangs. Wegg's gonna put it up and in. Mitch Wegg goes 12 points here for him so far in this game. Nice ball movement from the Jimmy so far. Mustangs 55-40 lead. And Havron with a nice move on that one. Looks like Hagler almost went in there to steal it from Delmore. Delmore gets the ball. Pushes it up the court. Nice pick from Carter Kirk there. That'll be off the Jimmys there. Reminders will take the inbound. It looks to be another media timeout. We're going to take a 60-second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU-TV. Cans, water bottles, and clothes. These forms of aid cost more to ship than you think. Cash donations provide immediate and effective relief to those who need it without the shipping costs. If we all do our part, together, we can provide help across the world. To learn more, check out CIDI.org. Your heart rate's a little fast. Cause of death, acute myocardial infarction. Have you tried a weight loss program? Likely caused by type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Still smoking? Victim's lungs are black and scarred. You can get a physical exam now or you can get one later. Use our free risk calculator and talk to your doctor. Lower your risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease and live a healthier life. Well, welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the SMSU Mustangs lead the new University of Jamestown at Jimmy's 55-42. Mustangs have been 58% from the field so far. Definitely improved from the first half. Six of 15 from three-point range. They're taking some quality shots here, Paul, tonight. Yeah, definitely, especially when 36 of their 55 points have come down low in the paint. I mean, a lot of big guys working down low there, and even some of the smaller guys just getting getting good drives and getting after it. Reminders looking to set a play up here, and Kirk will get the ball, try to dump it off the leg, and he'll get it back. Throw it off to Delmore. Delmore for three, and he'll knock it down. Their seventh three of the game for the Mustangs. Delmore's first. 58-42 Mustangs lead. Nice passing from the Jimmy so far in this game. Here comes. Newton for three, he'll miss it. Rebound by Wegg. Comes Delmore coming up here. Minders for three. And he'll knock it down. His third three of the game, Travis Minders. And Jamestown will take a timeout. And the Mustangs have a lead, 61 to 42. And we're gonna take a 30 second timeout as well. You're watching Mustang basketball here on KSSU TV. What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it, or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world, to serve people you've never met? What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? Welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the Mustangs lead 61 to 42 over the University of Jamestown, Jimmy's. So as we said, Paul, I mean, looking from the field, 60%, you gotta love that. And as well as points in the paint, 36 points in the paint. Like guys like Carter Kirk, Mitch Wegg have really contributed to that. Yeah, definitely, you gotta like when Mitch Wegg and Carter Kirk are both on the floor. You don't know exactly who's take the ball and drive to the hoop. 
looking at the three-point field goal percentage, they have definitely improved from the first half. Eight of 17, 47%. Looks like they're going to try and improve that here. Coming up, Travis Minders has hit a couple threes as well. I mean, the Mustangs are hitting from three. They, they couldn't last game, like we said, Paul, in the pregame. Looking good here so far tonight. Yeah, they've definitely looked a lot better from the three-point mark. A lot of guys getting opportunities. Cole Martin, Turner Rowan, and even Travis Minders as well. Nice trap there by the Mustangs. Mullen on Hagler. Hagler tries to bring it off, but it looked like Mullen almost had the block there. And he'll foul Hagler. This will be the first foul on Turner Mullen. Hagler coming on for two shots here. Jamestown, 47% from the field. They're a three of five from the free throw line. Wow, what a win. Yeah. And he'll make both free throws there. Hagler's got four points. Here comes Drew Osmondson. Two, three zone for the Jimmies. Nice ball movement so far from the Mustangs. Cole Martin, back to Mullen, back to Bartlett. Down to Martin, Martin for three, and he'll knock it down. Mustangs have hit 9-3 so far. They're hitting 50% from three-point range. They are really making it rain here tonight. Brown will, excuse me, Taylor Newton will make three of his own for the Jimmies. Trying to get them back into this game. I yeah, like what you see out of Taylor Newton here. The Tyler, Minnesota native at a RTR high school there. Definitely like to see him coming home. Right. Nice pass through to Osmondson. Osmondson to Turner Mullen. Another three-pointer from the Mustangs. Turner Mullen, 16 points in this game so far. Dumps it off to Smith. It'll be another miss from the J Jamestown. Almost stolen by Tucker there. Braquan Tucker. It's 15 points so far in this game. How about that, Paul? Turner Mullen has been hitting four threes in this game so far. Yeah, Turner Mullen definitely likes to shoot from downtown, especially getting points and creating a lot of havoc offensively. Osmondson tried to dump it off, but what a play. Almost looked like a nice play, but it looks like he put a little bit of more oomph onto that. Hagler for three. That'll be off. Mullins looking deep. Looks like he almost had a travel there. Smart move by Turner Mullen. Looks to be a foul on Hagler. It looks like a reach on that one on Carter Kirk. Second team foul. Cole Martin will take the inbounds play. Martin hits it out to Bartlett. Bartlett for three, and he will not get that. It looks like over the back foul on Carter Kirk. Third personal foul of the game. Here comes Hagler to bring it up. 67-47, the Mustangs lead. Nice defense from Cole Martin there. And Newton tried to fake, throw the fake up there, but Kirk will get the rebound. Nice outlet pass to Moen. Moen trying to make something happen, but he'll be fouled by Tucker, and that will be a second foul of the game. Mullen coming on for two free throws. The Mustangs are one of one from free throw range. Haven't been to the line much. Mullen shooting two. First one is up and good. The Mustangs still 100% from the free throw line. The Mustangs have out rebounded the Jimmies 26 to 17 in this game. Jimmy's 10 turnovers. Mustangs haven't committed one turnover yet in this half. Had nine turnovers in the first half. Hagler will come out of the game for the Jimmies. 
Here comes Newton bringing it up. Sam Hansen back in as well for the Jimmies. Good ball movement, movement from the Jimmies so far in this game. Smith will back down Kirk. Dump it out to Newton. Newton will make a nice two there. 69-49, Mustang still lead. Nice ball movement from Mustangs. Working it around the perimeter. Wide open is Joey Bartlett. And a nice play on that one. Seven points for Joey Bartlett so far. Tucker throws it up and he'll be fouled. By foul on Drew Osmondson. Raquan Tucker at the line. The Jimmies are four of six from free throw range. Tucker the leading scorer for the Jimmies so far. Shot is up and good. MJ Delmore coming into the for the Mustangs. Osmondson going to the bench. Looking at some of the bench points. 18 bench points for the Mustangs compared to the Jimmies. 14 Benjamins. Mustang's largest lead in this game, 22 at 11-24 in the second half. You know, you definitely really got to like when your bench comes out onto the floor and contributes. Delmore making some moves there. Moen dumps it off to Joey Bartlett. Throws it down low to Carter Kirk. Trying to make a move here on Smith. Dump it off to Moen. Moen will drive, dump it off to Delmore. Cole Martin for three, and he knocks that down. Cole Martin hitting another three for the Mustangs. They've hit 11 tonight, 52% from three-point range. Cole Martin, 12 points. Looking for Smith, and that'll be a turnover for the Jimmies. There'll be a timeout on the floor, media timeout. We're going to take a 60-second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU-TV. 80. 30. 50. Every mile brings us closer. 64. Every mile in a city near you. 75. Help us find a cure for diabetes. 100. Join the Tour de Cure. 60. Register to ride. 36. Or sponsor a rider. 50. Call 1-888-DIABETES or visit us online at diabetes.org forward slash tour. How many miles will you ride? 25. Ladies, are you talking to your partners? About HIV. Two out of every three new HIV AIDS cases in women are among black women. Get informed. Get tested. Early detection can save your life. If you test positive, seek treatment from a doctor. Join the campaign to end Black AIDS, a partnership between Abbott and the Magic Johnson Foundation. Go to WeStandWithMagic.com, get resources, and become a member. And join today, and thank you. Welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University, where the Mustangs lead 74-51 to over the University of Jamestown Jimmies. So, Paul, looking at the stats here, the Mustangs have shot very efficient today. 61% from field goal range, 30 of 49 total. And from three-point range, they have been on fire in the second half. 11 three-pointers here in this game. Yeah, definitely compared to the last game against Northern State, a very good improvement as they only made eight three-pointers the entire game, definitely allowing uh, their shooters to be able to get off good shots and from, from three-point land as well. Delmar will dump it off the wag, and the Miners will get that. Nice ball movement from the Mustangs. Wag will take the pass, dump it off to Delmore. Wag will be fouled on the way up. Mitch Wag, 12 points in this game. Three Mustangs in double figures. Turner Mullen, 18 points. Cole Martin, 12 points. Mitch Wag with 12 points as well. Looking to add on here. Yeah, Mitch Way getting a majority of those points down low in the paint. Has a 
as the Mustangs have really created a lot of opportunities for Mitch Wegg down low, you know, getting a lot of really good passes. Another cool stat too, Cole Martin, seven assists in this game, as well as MJ Delmar with five assists in this game. So Wegg misses both free throws. Drops him down. So three of five from the charity strike. Looks to be a foul on the Mustangs. Third foul on Minders tonight. That hit a couple of big threes in this game. Shot up by Brown and knocked down the three-pointer. Jimmy's still down by 20 points. Mustangs have been keeping them at bay so far in this game. Ball movement there. Minders for another three, and he'll knock it down. His fourth three of the game. Travis Minders on fire so far in the second half. You know, they can't miss from three point in the second half here. It's amazing how easy it looks for them to get off those three pointers. Travis Minders, 12 points in this game. Delmore open for three, and he'll knock it down. Their 13th three of the game puts their percentage up 56% from three-point range. Almost stolen by Turner Mullen, and the Mustangs scrambling for the ball. Minders gets fouled on the play. Tucker upset with the call there. Raekwon Tucker. Tall so far in this game. Here comes Delmore bringing up the ball here. And looks to be an ugly first turnover of the half for the Mustangs. Carter Kirk looks like he's wondering where Mitch Wegg went there. Tucker for three, and he'll knock it down. Braquan Tucker, 17 points in this game. Excuse me, 20 points after that three-pointer. Delmore trying to hold on to the basketball there. Bartlett and Martin waiting to go, come in for the Mustangs. Dumps it off to Kirk. Kirk backing down. Ron, and he'll put it up and in. Carter Kirk with eight points in this game. Nice outlet pass. Nice dunk by Kiwan Davis in the game. He's getting some action here late in this second half. 7-07 Seven and, oh seven and counting left in this second half. Good ball movement from the Mustangs. Dumps it down to Kirk, and Kirk tries to put it up, and he'll be fouled. Nice passing from the Mustangs. Carter Kirk looking to go double digits in this game. Turner Moen, 18 points. Cole Martin, 12 points. Travis Miners, 12 points. And Mitch Wegg with 12 points. Three of five from the charity strike here for the Mustangs. Don't miss that one. Got to make your free throws, man. No matter what the score is, you got to make your free throws at all times. Especially when you're playing teams like, say, Mankato or something. Exactly. Towards the end of the always, year, you got to make those. Always comes down to your free throws. Kirk will try to. Get it going here. Shot will be up. We'll roll out of there. There comes Raekwon over, and that will be intercepted by Kirk. A little far out in front for Cole Martin. Martin will take it, though. Martin with the nice moves there. Looking to pass it off to Wegg. Wegg back to Martin. 17 and counting on the shot clock. 
Osmondson loses a handle on it. The Mustangs get it back. Wegg dumps it off to Cole Martin, and he'll take another three, and it'll be oh, tipped in by Carter Kirk. Beautiful put back right there from Carter Kirk. Kirk right there. Again, there are about four Mustangs in double figures in this game. Dumps it off. Another miss from the Jimmies. Jimmy still shooting 48% from the field. 9 of 22 from three point range. Mustangs caused a couple turnovers so far in this game. Shooting efficient from the field. Have out rebounded as well. The Jimmies 29 to 19. Gotta like that ball. Here comes Travis Miners for the one and one. Miners puts it up. He's got 13 points now on the game. You gotta like the ball movement from the Mustangs offensively. They've just been efficient across the board. You know, when you have multiple players in double double digits as we see here, I mean, it just speaks to how much how much they move the ball and how many players get to touch the ball. It's, it's really nice when you see four or five players in double digits in a game. And Travis Minders will make both free throws. Well, miscommunication there from the Jimmies. Everson. Everon will put it up and he'll get an easy two there. He's got nine points in this game. 86 61 lead for the Mustangs. Nice move by Martin there. Dumps it off to Travis Minders. Almost hits his fifth three of the game. So far, so good for the Mustangs. They get an, another opportunity here, another foul on the way for Cole Martin. Take another one and one. Cole Martin, 12 points in this game. Looks like the Mustangs are Really rolling here might go up to 100 points, possibly. It's Cole Martin, the charity strike. Puts it up and in. Looks like the Mustangs are improving on their free throws right here, Paul. Yeah, definitely. You gotta, you gotta like when you get, you're able to get to the free throw line, and especially when your players make their free throws. Here comes Martin again. He'll miss that one. 87-61 lead for the Mustangs. Mustangs almost caught sleeping there on defense. Get back to it. Wingo in trouble. Comes it off to Haverson. Taking a look at Jacob Haverson. He's got 11 points for the Jimmies. Osmondson brings it up court. Nice ball movement so far from the Mustangs. Dumps it off to Minders. That'll be taken by Av Avron. And Hagler will dump it off to Avron there. Wingo. Tries to drive, but it looks like it might have been tipped. Reminders, it's by, and Cole Martin gets fouled on that one. Foul caused by Kiwan Davis, his first of the game. Looks to be another media timeout, so we're going to take a 60 second break. You're watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU TV. When you donate goods in response to an international disaster, it's expensive. They have to cross the sea, pass through customs, be inspected, sorted, then finally delivered. And often they arrive too late to help, making your good intentions feel a little empty. There is a better way. Cash donations are fast, simple, and allow professional relief workers to purchase supplies close at hand. Cash is best. Learn more at CIDI.org.
When I was first diagnosed with HIV, Cookie and I decided to fight this disease. Now we're here to urge you to stand with us in the fight against HIV. In the U.S., about half of the new HIV cases have occurred among African Americans. Get informed. Get tested. Early detection can save your life. If you test positive, seek treatment from a doctor. Go to WeStandWithMagic.com, get resources, and become a member today. Welcome back to the RA's facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the SMSU Mustangs lead, lead the University of Jamestown Jimmies, 87-63. And as we look at some of the stats here, Paul, I mean, Mustang offense has been on fire all night, 61% from the field, 13 of 25, 52% from three-point range, a couple of big threes by Travis Miners, Cole Martin, Turner Mullen. I mean, these guys are just flat out efficient after coming off a rough game against Northern State. Yeah, it's definitely the way you want to bounce back as a team coming off a tough loss there in overtime against against Northern State. They, it has not affected them at all, and they've come out shooting in this game. Cole Martin with the free throw there. Extend the lead to 88-63. That'll make it 89. Lewis will dump it off. Number 21, Mark Potter, getting some action here in this game. Lewis trying to put it off. It looks like it'll be tipped up by either Lewis or Bartlett there. Couldn't tell who. Cole Martin. Knocked down by Lewis. Kirk backs down. That won't go in. Had the right angle on the shot, just the hoop would not allow it to go in. Nice fundamentals there. Lewis with a three-pointer. Lewis playing well in this second half. He's got seven points. Here comes some subs in for the Mustangs. Nate Hewitt. We've seen him around in football there, Paul, ma making some big catches for the Mustangs. Yeah, good to see him back on the floor for the Mustang basketball. See what he can do this season. Here comes Mullen. Putting it to pass it in for the Mustangs. Mullen driving, dumps it off to Delmore. Delmore for three. He'll miss it. Nate Hewitt trying to get the rebound, but Delmore will try to get it, but it looks like it probably should have been a foul on the Jimmies. Avron looked to take down uh, Delmore, but it'll be Jimmy's ball. Not a lot of happy Mustangs on the bench here. Should have been a foul right there, but lived to fight another day. Some swing on Nate Hewitt. Well, that'll be picked off by Condon and Kirk. 2.43 left in this game. Hewitt puts up a shot, almost, almost gets that. Looks like he almost had a nice three there. Hewitt, three up for the Jimmies. Number 21, Mark Potter, getting his first three of the game. Mustangs still lead 89-71. Hewitt will take another three, and he almost. Takes that down, but Kirk will get the rebound, put it back up, and he'll make it. Carter Kirk with 12 points in this game. Condon looked to steal that pass. Yeah, Carter Kirk working down low in the paint is a complete mismatch. 6-8, I mean, you do not want to go up against that down low on trying to score. 6-8, 245 freshman out of Mountain Lake, Minnesota. Must be something in the water in Mountain Lake. <laughs> Emerson, that will roll out for Havron. Sean Condon. Oh, that looks, he gets it back. Turner Mullen up for the three, and he'll knock it down. Turner Mullen. 94-71, the Mustangs lead. Their 14th three-pointer of the game. 
Lewis, it'll be picked off by Nate Hewitt. Nate Hewitt will bring it down, pass it to Turner Mullen, and he'll take, oh no, he'll pass it off to Sean Condon. Hewitt will look to try and fake the three there. Kirk over to Mullen. One dumps off to Delmore, Delmore for three, and he'll knock it down. 97-71, MJ Delmore. The Mustangs, 15 three-pointers in this game. You know, at this point, why not? <laughs> from three point, 19, or 15 and 29 from three point, why not? At Looks this like point? they're trying to go for 100. Potter throws up another three, that will miss. And Nate Hewitt bringing it up. Looking for Delmore, Delmore for three, and he'll knock it down, that's 100. Points for the Mustangs. They go up 100 to 71 in the game. 32 seconds left and counting. The Mustangs will move to three and one. Just absolutely insane how well they've shot tonight from three point land. Tune in for the post game. Come up after this game. The Mustangs will end it right there. They get 100 points in this game. Definitely something to build off of. And that will end the game right there. And the Mustangs get the win here at the RA facility, 100 to 71. We're gonna take a 60 second break and we'll be back with our post game report. We'll have a coach, we'll have our assistant coach Tramel Barnes and uh, hopefully an SMSU player as well. So stay tuned for that. If you're watching Mustang basketball here on KSSU TV. Do you know a young woman with severe joint and chest pain, fever, skin rashes, and overwhelming fatigue? Common symptoms for a challenging ailment. Lupus, a very serious, sometimes deadly immune disorder. Lupus affects millions of people, usually attacking women during their childbearing years. Symptoms are often misdiagnosed for years. Delay in treatment can cost someone you love their family or their life. The Lupus Foundation of America wants to end this by educating physicians as well as those people at risk. Please help. Does retirement have to wait until my 70s? Is it great college for our kids? Out of the question? Is the American dream? Out of our reach? Not if we can help. We're the National Endowment for Financial Education, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping people just like you get smart about their money. Log on to smartaboutmoney.org today and start taking control of your financial life. And welcome back to the RA facility here on the campus of Southwest Minnesota State University where the SMSU Mustangs win 100 to 71 against the University of Jamestown Jimmies. Paul, let's take a look at some of the stats here. We look at Jamestown, 27 of 56, 48% from the field. 11 of 26 from three point range, 42% for them. Six of eight from the charity strike, 24 rebounds and seven steals and 15 turnovers, four the Jimmies, as well as you look at the bench points for the Jimmies, 28 points and 26 points in the paint. So let's send it over to you with SMSU stats. Yeah, definitely. With Mustangs cranking or cracking the century mark, 38 of 68 or 63 from the field, 63 per, or 60 percent, 16 of 30 from three-point range, 53 percent, eight of 13 from free throws, and also having 35 rebounds, 28 of them defensively. Again, like we said, Paul, as we look at some of the individual stats, I mean, looking at the Mustangs here, Paul, I mean, you look at MJ Delmore, four of seven from three-point range. You got Travis Mungers, four of seven from three-point range. Turner Mullen, five of six from three-point range. And looking at Cole Martin, two of five from three-point range. And looking at the stats here, five guys in double-digit points. I mean, the Mustangs had a great ball movement, had great, had some great turn uh, had some nice steals, as well as they've just been efficient from the floor. And looking at MJ Delmore, six assists. Cole Martin, seven assists. I mean, the Mustangs were moving the ball so well. All night long, I mean, everybody touched the ball, at least every possession. I mean, you see six guys with double-digit figures, points. I mean, it's absolutely great to see that. Eve Turner, Turner Moen, freshman, leading the way with 21 points. And then we can look at some of the points in the paint here too, Paul. I mean, they had 44 points in the paint for them. I mean, the Mustangs. I mean, you got to look at Mitch Wagg, Carter Kirk. I mean, they did a great job 
of getting points in the paint here tonight. Yeah, you gotta love when you get those big guys down low, working one-on-one -on -one and getting those points in the paint. Yeah, you gotta love what they've been doing here. And um, the Mustangs so far. Move on to three and one here, Paul. You gotta love what we've been seeing so far in this game. And the Mustangs definitely looking good in this game. I mean, shooting 60%, 53% from three-point range, knocking down 16 three-pointers. I mean, you just gotta love that. Defensively, they were pretty good as well. Causing 15 turnovers on the Jimmies. And bench points, I mean, you gotta look at that too. It's almost 38 bench points. I mean, we saw a lot of moving around. It's not like what John Calipari does with the uh, University of Kentucky, where they switch around guys like a platoon swap, but Coach Bigler's got something similar to that. It's almost like line shifts in hockey, right, Paul? Exactly. You know, when you bring in five, six guys off the bench and then they can contribute to the team, it's definitely a good, a very good amount of depth on this team. I mean, you see guys coming off the bench like Nate Hewitt, MJ Delmore, Sean Condon, Travis Minders, and even Carter Cook. Kirk, too, I mean, all those players coming off the bench and contributing to this squad is definitely a good sight for this team. Very good sight for the team as we look at some of the kids here playing out on the court. Big one for the Mustangs. And coming up for the Mustangs, let's take a look at that. They play over Thanksgiving break for Michigan Tech at 8 p.m. here at the RA facility. And then they take on Northern Michigan as well at the RA facility. So be tuned in for that. But our next broadcast will probably be December 2nd at Sioux Falls, or excuse me, home against Sioux Falls at 6 p.m. And then Winona State at, on December 5th at 8 p.m. And then December 6th against Upper Iowa at 7 p.m. So it looks like we'll have to catch the coaches and uh, the players next in our next broadcast. And anyway, good job today, Paul. Good first game for the Mustangs moving to 3-1. and one, And the Jimmies fall to 4-6. and six. So we'll see you next time here at the RA facility when the Mustangs will be taking on Sioux Falls. And you are watching Mustang Basketball here on KSSU-TV. Everybody have a good night.